Hi, good afternoon everyone. I'm going to try this again. This is Kenya Rachman, the author and founder of the Child Support Hustle. And um, I'm sorry for those technical difficulties. Everybody knows. If you've been here before, I am not technically advanced. So they switched the whole game up on me. So um, the live is different. Everything is different. So I didn't know what in the hell I was doing. So I figured it out. I think, hey Mike, thanks for coming back. Hi Charles. Okay, I'm glad I could see myself. I'm like, what is going on? And I, I just couldn't figure it out. So um, I want to come on here real quickly. Uh, it's going to be quicker than I anticipated because I just was fooling with this thing for the longest for this whole time. But I want to come on here. I hope everyone is well um, during these difficult times. Um, and staying safe so let me get my notes okay so what I want to talk about real quick is um, we've been seeing I mean one or two okay but the third I had to come on and say something about uh, these unemployment checks or payments being over uh, over charged for child support and the reason why this is so important is because during this COVID outbreak, custodial parents are permitted to go and get public benefits. And if you're not new here, you know that child support is a welfare recovery program. That is the big, that's the reason why child support exists is to recover welfare expenditures. So one of the requirements that custodial parents are forced to do is sue the non-custodial parents for child support. So during this uh, ep pandemic, I'm sorry, there's a program <clears throat> called, excuse me, the Non-Recurrent Short-Term Benefit Program. Now this is a program that allows non-custodial low-income parents who have not even low income, if they've lost their job, um, or furloughed and anything like that with the conditions going on they're allowed to go and sign up for public benefits and the reason why this is important is because the requirements the one most specifically that I'm going to address is suing for child support is not required and this is important again because of these three states that have mentioned of these overpayments of the unemployment benefits and that's Kansas, Arizona, and Oklahoma. Uh, I'm have, I can't prove this, but one of the reasons that I'm thinking that the custodial parent is not getting the payments once the unemployment is being garnished is because when these parents, the custodial parents are signing up for TANF benefits, the state is still making them sue or sign up for child support. But because all this is going on so fast that they're not letting the parents know, hey, even if you're getting this temporary assistance, you're still you're not required to sue for child support. But I really highly doubt that they've printed up these new applications or went in and corrected these applications to say, oh, you're not required to do this. And this is let me put this in the um Hi Jack, how are you? Hi Jonathan. I'm gonna put this in the comments, these links, um, because they keep overpaying, I mean overcharging these parents sometimes triple and nobody's answering the phone, nobody's telling them anything and they're not getting any refunds and I look today, this has been going on for at least a month and I look today before I made this live to see if there had been any updates of parents getting refunded or anything like that and I haven't seen anything. So. Um, back to this program which is called the NRST and this is something that's already been in place for emergency situations they had it enacted during Hurricane Katrina that recovery so don't give them yeah don't oh, I didn't even get to don't sign don't I'm, I'm gonna get there but don't ever sign anything without reading but I'm gonna get there so with this uh, emergency money this temporary reoccurring non reoccurring money it's designed to deal with specific crisis situations and specific needs. 
uh, it is not intended to meet reoccurring or ongoing needs. That's where the tan is, and and it will not extend beyond four months. So what I'm asking everybody not to, after the pandemic, everything's lifted up. If the custodial parent has went and signed up for these this four months of benefits, which by the way will cover lost wages, short term rental and mortgage assistance, utility and energy assistance, house and search and placement services, clothing allowances, family support services to deal with stressful situations, financial and credit counseling, certain legal services and administrative costs associated with any of these activities. And the reason why I want to list those out is because again, these are benefits available for custodial parents. Now, during this virus, they have not suspended child support payments, so they expect you non-custodial parents to still make those payments. No relief uh, for a modification is what they tell you, but there's no guarantee that the modification will be granted once the courts open back up. But on the flip side, the custodial parent has all of this, uh, all of this assistance available to them, and they still expect you to pay if you miss a payment we know what happens you will be afford enforced upon we're not even going to talk about the stimulus money that was stolen from you all so that one of the things I, again I say you're not they're not supposed to make the parents sue for child support but if on the application the parent unknowingly signs that and that is checked that yes they will sue I want non-custodial parents to be fully aware that after the pandemic lifts and courts start to open you might get something from child support to say hey you're being sued for child support based on these benefits these temporary benefits hey Trey King um, and that's why I'm, I'm t I titled this don't sign anything because for one they're not supposed to, hey Shana, they're not supposed to enforce this requirement to sue for child support for one. And for two, they're not supposed to go after, if you don't already have a child support order in place, they're not supposed to garnish any of your money, unemployment, anything without a child support order in place already. It's a court order. You've been sued. If it's an, administration, if it's an administrative order, I will fight that. So, let me see. And as far as the modifications, I think that, yeah, stolen. Hi, Roger. Yes, that money, that stimulus money was stolen. Make no mistake about it. And I'm hearing um, a lot of parents that say they, they're even up to date on their payments and the, uh, their money was still garnished or stolen. Um, so I will fight that. Uh, I will file a complaint with uh, the regional offices, especially if your child support is current and maybe you got behind because you were laid off furloughed during the uh, during the COVID pandemic and they still took your your stimulus money. I would fight that until there was no breath left in me. So, um, oh, I know, it's, it's really sickening. Hey, Adrian. So, I just wanted to just make it real short. Of, I had a whole bunch more to say and everything like that, but because I couldn't get on here when I wanted to, I had to kind of speed it up for you guys and just know, uh, of course, never sign anything. If you are given any money, anything, because since the courts are closed and you're just, you know, here's some money for diapers, here's some money for the rent, or if you're helping out, don't pay cash. Always. Hey, Chris, yes. I'm coming out of my hiatus or semi-retirement, if you want to call it that. Uh, never pay cash. Even if you have to cash app, um, get a money order, get a check, and always write child support somewhere in the memo line. That way, if you have to go to court later on, or whatever, you get sued for child support, you can go in there and fight and say, look, I don't need court interference. I don't need you to tell me how much it costs for me to take care of my child. I don't need a court order. Here's all my receipts. Here's everything that says I that proves that I'm taking care of my child. And you fight it. Fight it, fight it, fight it. 
custodial parent is entitled to the money. Um, can you be more specific, Adrian? Uh, yeah, I'm going to put all the articles. Let me put that in here right now. I think I copied and pasted before I got started. So, uh, I think that's it. I just want to come on there. If your money is being double, triple charged and everything like that, there's a regional office. I don't know if they're answering the phone. I don't know what's going on. Like I said, I've been out of the loop lately. So, but I'm back in. Um, but definitely fight and file your complaints. Don't go to the federal office of child support enforcement because we know they ignore complaints. But there is an we, there are regional offices set up all across the country that handle different states. So you want to go there if the supervisor is not handling your needs, which they probably won't. But don't get bamboozled during this time. And they try to slip in a fast one. Oh, your baby's mom signed up, you know, to get cash while she was laid off. And then all of a sudden, four months down the line, you're getting a child support complaint saying you're being sued. Uh, that's out. This, this, and I just put it in the links. Uh, everything that you need to show that they are not, they are not supposed to be uh, requiring child support cooperation during this time for that money. I'm gonna have to find it, Adrian. I'm going 100% down to 100. And, I, and that's another thing I was going to discuss. I think with um, people going and applying cases that have been previously closed where parents like myself who once received public assistance but have uh, moved on, maybe if we go down there and apply for some kind of public assistance uh, during the COVID, it may trigger some enforcement or child support to open up and, that, and that's why money is not being dispersed as it's supposed to. Then you know the pass through if you do get public assistance the, you sign your rights over to the state so you won't get that money. They keep your child support. Yes, you can email Adrian. It's cshustle, the number one, at gmail.com. I'm all down for a protest. Um, I, I've been saying all these years, let's march, let's, let's organize, let's, let's do it. We had um, a march on Washington uh, in May of last year. This is 20, so it's 19, and um, it was it was it was a good thing. You can see the video, um, some of it, on our YouTube channel at the Child Support Hustle uh, on YouTube. So um, if I'm not answering thieves, they are thieves. Uh, answering, I'm not doing specific cases anymore. I used to do clients uh, answer questions and try to do individual one-on-one -on -one, um, advocacy. But I'm not doing that right now. It's just overwhelming for me. So if you have any specific questions, I'll try to answer or somebody on the team will try to answer. If not, I have a lot of information on the ChildSupportHustle.com. There's a lot of blogs that I've written. And I also have a book, The Child Support Hustle. And um, you can get that. It breaks the child support system down. The Child Support Hustle will break it down. But um like uh, and if I can, I'll try it. If it's something I can answer or just point you in the right direction, I'll do that. Again, we don't handle child custody issues, only child support issues. But I think this is a perfect time because it's going to be some restructuring, I feel, going on in a lot of areas, uh, in the government and the programs and things like that. So if there was any ever a time for us to get our child, get child support reform abolishment, however you want to put it, I think this is the time because there's a lot of people fighting and it's a lot of especially with the uh, pandemic hit and there's a lot of questions going on about child custody you know I can't see my child because of COVID and I've seen a lot of articles um, discussing that so uh, oh go oh, okay so I have to go I have a I had an appointment that I have to get to. So, you guys, thank you so much for your continued support. Let's keep fighting. Um, let's burn it down. No, 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 no. Let's not burn it down. But you, you guys know what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, hey, Todd. Uh, good to see you. Um, okay, you guys, let's, let's fight. All right. Have a good night. Y'all stay safe and be kind to each other, please.